In this tutorial for Azure Data Factory's data flow preview feature, I'm going to focus on the window transformation. The window transformation opens up a set of new analytical and aggregation functions that you can leverage within a Data Factory's data flow that work against windows of data. So you partition your data, you sort it, and then you set ranges for that data, and the analytical functions and the aggregates will work against that set of data then. Essentially, this is a way to leverage the standard SQL window functions that come with the SQL language within your data flow and data factory. So let me walk you through an example, see if it will make more sense that way. The scenario I'm going to provide here is I have a set of products from the AdventureWorks database that have a category known as color within those products. I want to rank the um, I want to rank the standard costs of the products within those different color categories. So let me show you how to do that. Let's start with a source within a new data flow. And the source is going to be my products um, CSV file. This, of course, could be a database if you want it to be, but I'll just use a file to make it simple here for the demo. So I should have a products blob here, and uh, there it is. We don't need schema drift for this. We actually want the schema for this so we can know a little bit more about our source data. Now I do know that the cost is going to be a decimal, so let me um, let me cast that as a decimal and also cast my list price as a decimal too. Although I'm not even sure if I'm going to use it, but we'll just cast it so I can show you how to do that. Okay, great. So I have my data set the way I want it to, and my schema. If I look on the inspect tab, it looks the way that I want it to. That's fine. Now let's just keep this simple. Let's add a window transformation right after our source. We can focus on that for this tutorial. Okay, so the over clause within the transformation is essentially the over clause of a select statement within SQL. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a partition. This is going to partition my data by this over clause. And I'm, I remember the scenario was I want to group the data partitioned by color. And within that grouping, I want to sort it by the standard cost so I can have the most expensive um, costing product that I make on, on the top. So to do that, I want to do descending um, for this, the most expensive at the top. Now, the range is where you can set different bound ranges within your data with offsets from the current value uh, forward and backward within that range. I'm just going to have unbounded. I'm going to go throughout the entire set of ranges of values within those categories. Now that I've set up the window, what I want to do with the columns in that window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that rank. So I'm going to call this a new column. I'm going to alias it essentially as I'll call it um, ranking. And then I'll go into the expression builder. And you'll see all the different kinds of aggregates and analytical functions that I can use within um, the window function or the window transformation. So just to give you an idea from the documentation for our expression language within Azure Data Factory's data flow, some of the things that you can do specific to um, the window transformation would be la uh, the lag, lead, end tile, ranking, row number, and so on. So let's focus on the ranking for uh, this demo. And let's go back to the expression builder and we'll just say rank as the function, and let's rank that standard cost. All right, perfect. And we'll save and finish. And let me turn my debug on so that we can check the values of the function calls within my expression builder to make sure that I have the right values within my uh, windows. So as my debug turns on, I can go over to the data flow, I'm sorry, the, the data preview um, tab on my data flow with my window transformation, I'll be able to see the values coming across in real time directly across my interactive cluster. And it'll show me the, uh, the window values of my expression right here. And let's take a look at what we've got. So let me pull this up. And we do have the data partitioned by color. So we're in the black uh, category. And if we look over to the right, we do see my new column of ranking. And uh, so ranking will have um, gaps in the numbering. If you don't want gaps, you'll use dense rank for that. So the ranking should stop them when I get to the end of the black color category. And it's starting back over at once. Let's go look at the color. 
we see that we're in blue, so definitely we're getting the values um, that we want. So we have the ranking of the standard cost now uh, computed in real time. So let me go back into that um, just one more time into the function. Let me show you if we were to change it to a dense rank. I mentioned the dense ranking will eliminate those gaps for you. So let's do that. And just for the sake of being tidy about it, let's change the name of the alias as well to dense rank. I'll go back to do a preview on the data and let's just make sure that our values are correct and that I'm correct in the way that I'm stating this. And we'll just scroll on over to the right hand side. And so that's correct. Dense ranking now gives you the ranking but without any gaps within the values. And just for um, the sake of uh, one more thing to show you in the window function, I could always, another very common thing to do is just do a row numbering of those as opposed to the ranking, just set a row number uh, for the um, for the rows that come out within that partition. And so I can just say row number, and I can just say row num for an alias. And this is always very useful when you need a... Um, uh, we need a value to be incremented within a grouping of data in a partition of data in a window function. You can just use row num as a uh, function call. And there we go, everything now has a row number. And then once we get down to the blues, we start over again. That was a quick look at window functions. Thank you for watching.